Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan SE R-Line Black Edition. This particular one is platinum gray metallic on the exterior with Titan black leatherette on the interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, LED tail lights, and reverse lights. The aggressive R-Line front end with the splash of piano black. It's all piano black here and it's blacked out on two of the three ribs right here the r-line badge is right here the top grill or top badge or uh, rail on the grill is uh trimmed out in chrome the rest is going to be blacked out features 19 inch alloy wheels blacked out what would normally be chrome on the uh r-line is now blacked out here body colored paint below that black line there black roof rails and that nice deep bowl line down the side blacked out quad faux exhaust tips on the back a chrome bumper dillo good news is there's now going to be available a black bumper dillo coming soon it says se on the left corner here four motion on the right corner there tiguan right here in the same new font with the volkswagen logo just above it this particular one does not have any deletes so it is it's fully stock. Keyless entry on two doors. There's another look at that bowl line down the side, right into the door handles, up into the wheel arch there, and into the headlight. The R-Line badge right here on the side and black colored uh, mirror caps here with integrated turn signals. Let's take a look at the inside. Black leatherette right here on the door inset and also on the arm pad, contrast stitch right here on the arm pad and in the inset there. It's a silver, a, a um, metallic finish right here on the door panel, which continues across the dash into the other door panel over there. Here's a look at your seats here. Lumbar support right here, forward and back, up and down, and then also your seat back adjust there. Another contrast stitch right here in the seat bolster, goes up behind the shoulders here. Adjustable headrest right there with another contrast stitch there. Also on the arm pad right here in the middle, the armrest. And before we climb in, here's a look at the back seats. Now this is an all-wheel drive model, so it only has two rows of seats. If you get a front-wheel drive model, if you look at that dark headliner on top there, uh, you will get three rows of seats. And we climb on in here. Now this unit is sold. I do have more coming, so if you're interested in one in this exact spec, we have it coming. Here's a look at that digital cockpit. You have three main screens here. This is the first one. This is the blended screen, and by hitting view, I can change to the speedometer screen and then also the tachometer screen here. Over here on the right, fuel gauge is right there. Temperature gauge is over here on the left. This is also set up as red. I'll get to the ambient lighting set up here in just a minute, but you have 15 color ambient light display as well. Piano black finish around the uh, vents going across here over to the other side. There's that metallic finish right there. It's an adjustable steering wheel, leather wrap, flat bottom, pull out on it, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you need it. R-Line badge right here in the center on piano black here and there's this piano black behind it is uh, on the, the uh, flat silver spokes here. Piano black also on a capacitive touch for this. This is going to be similar to what's in the GTI and Golf R and also ID4. So it's all capacitive touch here. Climate control over here is also capacitive touch. Gone is the uh, three knob setup here. I actually like it. Automatic headlights over here. Coin box for storage right there. This one does have a power lift gate right here. It's not deleted. So I can just lift up on that guy right there. And there goes the power lift gate. And as I lift up and hold, I can also close that lift gate. Just like that. The catch is lift up and hold. All right, for the radio, AM, FM, and satellite radio, it also has App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly but you do have a wireless charge pad here as well and then also two USB-C connections right here and here a 12 volt charger port right here so you can actually charge using a cigarette, li cigarette lighter adapter or plug in there uh, back to the capacitive touch right here your heated seats are right here one touch on for high and then touch again for medium then low then off same with this side here completely capacitive touch here your vent setups are also the same they pop up on the screen here now you can change what's displayed here, uh, or what the vent settings are. Um, and then you also have the louvers up here to change your vent settings. Um, 
for that backup camera it's pretty nice here you have trajectory steering I turn the wheel left I turn the wheel right it it uh, show the yellow line moves accordingly uh, shows where I headed why I'm headed uh, the red line signifies where the bumper is the green line signifies straight back also you have an auto start stop shut off button right here and then here is a park pilot button which will also bring that camera up on demand as long as you're stationary just like putting it in reverse only it's giving you just a, uh, a rear view camera view and it gives you this overhead image of the um, icons there and you can also change the display here so that's just your regular camera display this is for like parallel parking it highlights objects right there there's your trailer setup right there we should give you a overhead view here and then you have your fisheye view here so like looking around corners and things of that nature but mainly you're going to set up you're going to just do that main camera there um, and then I just push the button again to turn that off that also turns off my park sensors front and rear there are sensors on this Tiguan SER line however they are not on the SE or the S they start at the SER line and move up to the SELR line as well push button start is right here you do also have your e-brake right here you just lift up on it to activate push down on the brake and push down on that to release being it's four motion or all-wheel drive it has this knob here so I have my main modes here I just push the mode button I have eco normal sport and custom I can also change that here if I don't want to do the fingerprints where eco normal sport and custom and then I also have the snowflake I can turn it to snow mode here that gives you all-time wheel rear I'm sorry all-wheel drive and then I also have off-road and an off-road custom off-road custom is going to tweak these items here I have hill descent and I can turn on and off hill assist park assist all-wheel drive right here I can turn it on off-road oops I can turn it on off-road or normal and then I have steering which is normal or sport drivetrain I can do off-road or normal adaptive cruise control I can also change to comfort normal sport or eco and then I also have climate control where I can do normal or eco and then I have reset of course I want to turn this back to the roadway here so we have that here's a look at the key fob nice and thin and slender it's going to fit in your pocket still there's a panic alarm on the side the remote start button is right here lock is here unlock is here and power lift gate is here the catch for this if you have a power lift gate for this to work touch and hold the, the lift gate button okay that will open the hatch and in some cars it will close it as well depends on the model over here in the glove box there's your storage items there the window stickers cleverly hidden in here since this one's already sold this one came in at 36 645 extras on this one included 375 for the auto dimming mirror 275 for the monster mats 160 for the bumper dillo plate and 90 bucks for the roadside assistance kit so this one has um, all of these items included in the sticker for $36,645. Uh, pull that up and put it back in here. There's a look at your manuals there. The tire warranties are underneath right there. So we close that up. Up above here, you have this auto dimming home link mirror. That's the mirror that was on that extra on that window sticker. It has three buttons here for garage door memory and then the fourth one for Bluetooth there. There's your digital compass there. I accidentally hit the activate button there. Uh, as I said, this one's sold, but there's that storage bin right there. You have that, and also there's a speaker up there. Oh, actually, no, there's not. There's not a speaker up here. Correction. Sorry about that. I told you wrong. Um, and then also you have a vanity mirror right here with an LED light on each side. There you go. All right. These three buttons are for your Carnet. Carnet's free for five years. You also have a button here for the panoramic sunshade on a panoramic sunroof. Uh, the power sunshade it goes all the way back just like that so all of your passengers are under glass and you just hit this button here to slide and open the sunroof that pane of glass stacks on top of that one there both panes of glass are tinted there's a pop-up sunshade right, or windscreen right there it kind of cuts down on the wind buffeting you coming into the car there um, there's a look at that we're all under glass there and you also have side dome lights on both the, the over both doors in the rear there's a look at the door inset again with that contrast stitching there even on the arm pad the passenger seat is going to be manual this is the loop here to slide it forward and back over here on this side you can raise and use this in a pumping fashion to raise or lower the seat and then this one back here also adjust the seat back in the armrest here there's a pretty deep storage there uh, there's not a whole lot to it you do have this adjustable armrest here too let's take a look at the back seat Oh, one thing I did want to point out, 
stainless steel covered pedal caps there and even a footrest there and the monster mats do say tiguan on them right there and there's also an r-line scuff plate right here i didn't i didn't go over that and that is also backlit as with a white light that's not part of the ambient lighting that you can change colors which i left off too so let me go over that real quick uh, these are fluid guys i do them in one take so uh, i apologize there's there's usually a cadence to it but sometimes i miss things and i'll go back to it so ambient lighting here i can actually change it from automatic to manual once i change it to manual i can change to any of these colors and as you see there now it's purple purple accents here and it's hard to see right now but at night you're going to see a purple light go across here uh, so i can change all of that i even have pink in here where i can make it look like a t-mobile store it's pretty cool actually so i don't know if your t-mobile store has ball pink but the one where i live is flooded with pink light so that's what i mean by that um, and then you have all these other colors here of course too so different shades of blue different shades of green and yellow that's actually pretty cool and the radio am fm and satellite with gesture control as long as you see that hand there i can wave my hand across that way or this way and get the presets to move across that's yeah, pretty cool now let's take a look at the back seat there's a look at those black wheels and here's a look at the seats here door inset right here more of that contrast stitching there also on the arm pad here here's a look at those seats there just a touch of contrast stitch here also around here and then over on that side as well as we climb in the back here magazine pockets right here and here and then you do also have vents back here for your rear passengers one usb-c right here that's also backlit and then you have a 12 volt, 12 volt charger port right there here's a look through from the back to the front instrument cluster right there that digital instrument cluster and the radio and that is a new shifter too i didn't mention that that is a backlit shifter so it shows what gear you're in on the shifter here's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof very nice i do have lots of leg room back here lots of knee space here so i have a magazine pocket here and a magazine pocket here the door insets there very nice car seat hookups here and here and then a fold down armrest right here squishy yet firm adjustable headrest for all three seats now let's take a look at the back one more look at those wheels there those are very very nice wheels this one has that bumper dillo plate on it so it's not going to get scuffed or scratched as we look in through the back here here's your look through from the back to the front there's your giant panoramic sunroof instrument cluster center console armrest and what have you there this one also comes with the cargo protection system here if you lift up underneath here there's your spare tire right there and the front license plate bracket i'm going to move that out of the way there roadside assistance kit over here cargo blocks right there and you do have a seat pull here and here so you can actually fold those seats down from back here a bag hook off to the side is recessed into the side there. A 12 volt charger port right there. If I pull on this guy right here, that seat folds down. I just push it down to click. Same with this side over here. Give it a good tug and that seat's gonna go down. You push it and click it in place. All of this will end up being cargo space. It's about 95% flat. Here's a look through again. And here's your power lift gate. Anytime you have the power lift gate, it is gonna be adjustable. So you can adjust the height of that if you have a short statured person who can't quite reach it all the way up or if you have a, a low roof in your garage or carport this car will come with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from volkswagen that's four years 50,000 miles and includes two years of free maintenance so your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by volkswagen also if you buy from me remember i have more of these coming you can fly in and drive out I will pick you up at the airport. I want to give you a third year free maintenance as well. Now that is a local deal only. That's local. If you have to come to my dealership to get that third year free maintenance, that's an oil change, multi-point inspection and tire rotation included. Also, if you fly in and drive out or if you, if, if you buy a car from me, I'm going to give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty also free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.